What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be covering how we can back up our package files for our installed apps, as well as our games, DLC, and updates for apps that you already have installed on the PS4. Now I did cover this before on how to do this using FTP in a previous video, which I'll link on screen and in the description, but we're not gonna be using FTP this time. This time we have a payload by Chameleon, the package backup payload that allows us to back up the package files for any app that we have installed on the PS4 to a USB or external hard drive. Now, in the previous video, I used FTP because it was pretty much the only option at the time. You couldn't use PS4 Explorer because it doesn't allow you to copy the package files. And also Easy Package Extractor no longer works on 9.00. It, ne it, never, it was never updated, so it's never worked on 9.00. But Chameleon has fixed this by creating a payload that allows us to back up our package files. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how that works here in this video. So firstly, you're gonna to need to get yourself a USB or external hard drive. If we switch on over to the computer, we're gonna to want to obviously format that USB or external hard drive. So right click and format it and make sure you format it in XFAT format right here and then click start to reformat the drive. Obviously back up any data on the drive before reformatting it. So we want that in XFAT format. If we right click and go to properties, you can see our drive is in XFAT. So at this point, we are pretty much good to go. The only thing we need to do now is get the config file. So if we head over to Chameleon's GitHub page for package backup version 1.1, we can download the config file right here. So click that and download that file. And all we want to do is copy that file onto the root of the USB drive. Don't put it inside any folders. And then if we open this config file, we can basically tell the payload how we want to dump our app. So we can use option zero to copy just the game or option one if we want to copy just the update. Option two is copying only the DLC and option three copies all three of them, of course, the game the update and the DLC. That's the default option. So I'm going to leave it on option three. Secondly, you can also tell it what uh, game you want it to dump. So if you don't specify anything here, if you leave it on zero, then it will only dump the current game that is running. So if you start, you have to start the game and then it will dump the game that you have running. Now, this can be a problem because it seems to copy the files a lot slower when you're actually running a game. So you're better off actually typing in the title ID of the app that you want to dump. That way you don't have to run the game when you're dumping it so it will dump faster. So if we switch back over to the PS4 here and we need to get the title ID of the game that we're going to dump, which is going to be Black Ops 3 in this case. So if I hit options and go to information, you can see I've got Black Ops 3 on version 1.26. So it has an update installed and it also has an add-on installed as well, a piece of DLC. So we're going to dump the game, the updates and the DLC. So firstly, obviously you need to run your exploit. So head onto the internet browser and go to whichever exploit site you normally use. I guess we'll use say chameleons here, which is kmeps4.site. Since chameleon is the one who made the payload, so the latest version of the package backup payload will be available on his host. Okay, so we get a few different options here. I'll just use the full auto chameleon host on the top left. Okay, so obviously you want to run Gold Hen first of all. So Gold Hen version 2.2.2 .2 or whatever the latest version of Gold Hen is. Run that payload first of all to jailbreak the PS4 and to get Gold Hen running. Then if you run the game that we're going to dump here and then hit the PS button as soon as it will let you exit back out, we can then hit options on the game again. Because it's running, we'll have the Gold Hen cheat menu showing up. So if we select Gold Hen cheats, even if you don't have any cheats installed, it should show you what the title ID of the game is. At the top, you can see Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and then it's got the title ID in brackets, which is CUSA 02624. So that's how you can tell what the title ID is of the game that you're wanting to dump. So now that we've done that, we can close out of Black Ops 3. And if we switch back over to the computer, we can now type in that title ID into the config file. So 02624. So we'll go ahead and type that in 02624 and save. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and eject that USB drive and we can plug it into the PS4. Okay, so now all we need to do is go on the internet browser again, go back to that same exploit site that we were just on, back onto Chameleon's host. The link will be in the description. 
So kme.site. And then we're going to run the package backup version 1.1. So we'll run that payload and wait for this to initialize. So it should detect the config file on the USB drive. And there we go, config file has been found. So we're not running the game right now, but you can see if I minimize out here and go back, you can see the game is not running, but it is still dumping the game anyway. So this should dump the game faster by doing it this way. You don't have to have the game actually running during the dumping process uh, when you actually type in the title ID into the config file. Obviously, if you don't provide a config file, it will by default dump the game, the update and any DLC for it as well. Plus, it will only dump the game if it's actually running because then it actually knows which game you want to dump. So as you can see, there we go. We're at 5% already. This is a pretty large game considering everything that's included. So it'll dump the game, then the update, then the DLC, and then it will give you a notification once it has completed. Okay, we're just finishing up doing the DLC now. So there we go, 100%. And then it should give us a notification saying that we're all done. There we go, process done, closing package backup. There we go. Okay, so that should have successfully backed up the game, the DLC and the update. So we'll plug that USB drive back into our computer and check. Okay, so if we go to that USB drive on the computer again, you can see we've got the title ID dash app, which contains the app package file. If I double click this and open it in PS4 package viewer, I'll link the program down in the video description. So if we open this in PS4 package viewer, we can see we've got the game, fake package version, EU version. So that did back up successfully. We'll look at the DLC package file here. So ac.package. If we open this up, you can see it's the giant bonus map and it is a add-on, a fake package version. So you can see that backed up successfully as well. And the same with the patch. If we open this up, you can see it is a patch, fake package version, and it is version 1.26, so update version 1.26. So that all backed up successfully. We could reinstall that back onto a PS4 now if I just cut these package files out of their locations here and paste them back into the root of the USB drive. And then I'll get rid of these folders and the .complete file. And there we go. So I could reinstall these back onto the PS4 now. Uh, it's just to show that uh, this is a legitimate backup of those package files. They will work. They can be reinstalled. So if we unplug that USB and plug it back into the PS4 and on the PS4, what I'll do is delete Black Ops 3 completely. And that gets rid of the game plus the DLC plus the update. And then we'll head into settings, go down to our debug settings, game package installer. And there's the package files showing up on the hard drive. We'll install the app package first, which of, which of course is the main game. Okay, so let's go ahead now and install the update. Okay, and finally, we'll just do the DLC, which is ac.package. Obviously you can rename these package files once you have them backed up. All right, there we go. So that's all three installed again. If we head back here, you can see we've got Black Ops 3. If we go to information, we're on version 1.26 again and our add-on is installed and the game should run and work no problem. So we just took those package files from the game that was already installed on our PS4 and then backed them up to a USB and then deleted the game, reinstalled them and we now have the game back with the update and the DLC. So you can take those package files, any package files that you have on your PS4 and you can back them up to a USB and from there you can do whatever else you want to do with them, modify them, add some modded game files or something you know, if you want to put them through package ripper or something to, to reduce the file size and then reinstall them back onto the system or install them onto another PS4 that you have, then yeah, you can go ahead and do that. So it's pretty handy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.